do the stanky leg. Why do I click my recording and that is the first thing that's on my video? I'm gonna slit his I'm gonna slit his nutsack. Anyways, Morgan, uh, you yeah. wake up in the middle of like it, it seems like the middle of the night. It's dark outside in your window. Your phone is just blasting off, just <laughs> It's your alarm. Well, it's my alarm? Yeah, it's telling you that it's like 720. Aww. On your first day of school. <sighs> Alright. Guess I'm gonna get up, get my flower, my flowers, plop down my face and get ready. Okay. Yeah. You get ready for school. Um, as you hear a at your door. Yeah. Who What's else that? would be here? You know who it is. Can I come in? Yeah, come in, come in, come in. It is your father. <laughs> What's up, Dad? You ready? Who's there's an earth for me? Hopefully I don't fall asleep walking. <laughs> Alright, well. But I guess. Go ahead. Uh, Breakfast is out on the table, and, um, you have fun. Thank you, you're awesome. Yeah. Thanks. As you just cool. shut your door and walks out. I'm going to go out there to get some breakfast. Alright. Uh, as you finish eating breakfast, you feel full. Starting to wake up more. <sighs> Yay! What would you like to do now, Joe? Uh, you do take the bus. Like, your bus stop is just outside your house. Okay. I guess uh, I'm gonna I'm go out there and I'm gonna look around to see if I want to add any flowers into all my flowers in my face. I don't know how I'm supposed to tell you that. That's okay. Do I see anyone nearby that's at the bus stop with me? Uh... Oh. Back to it. Morgan, you see this girl across the street. You do recognize her. I'm just gonna wave over to Hey! Nicole, uh... Hi! I'm gonna kill you for interrupting me. No, I'm kidding. You <laughs> hear uh, your old friend say hi, but I guess it's too late. Go ahead. Bye. No, I'm kidding. Can I see what she looks like? I have flowers over my face at that moment, by the way. I immediately noticed this. Butterfly on leg. Also, yeah, I, I love that her eyebrow pokes through. <laughs> I can't. It's just, it's just no, no, no. <laughs> uh, Jasper, you see these three people outside. Morgan, what are you uh, gonna that do? That was kind of weird looking. Was it? What are you gonna do? Jasper, you didn't send me your image. Call, call, I'm gonna call. I wanna oh, my call, bad. I wanna call over my friend. You wanna what? You want to what? <laughs> Morgan? I wanna call over your friend and then cross the street over to her. Yeah. You wanna call, call over her. your friend? Yes. Okay. Ray. Wanna call over Ray? Uh, you guys see the bus across the street. As Ray, you are walking. Uh, as you're walking towards, uh, the house, Ray. Oh, never mind. I stay at the bus stop. Oh. Yeah, we get to that bus stop then. All right. I just go back onto the sidewalk. Almost forgetting I, I, your shoes. Uh, almost forgetting your shoes, Morgan. You walk out to the bus stop. Oh! <sighs> Perfect! Nicole! Yes? You wake up. In your room, it's alone. Dark. You have a little, a little light in the corner. <laughs> uh, you just wake up. Nothing really wakes you up. You're, it's like your body just wakes up on its own. 
I just immediately look at the time. It's 7.20. Oh, I'm gonna be late. I uh, immediately just get up and start getting ready. Okay. As you can... Hold on, let me recheck that. Never mind. Uh, as you get ready. Fully ready I do, for school, um, you got all your stuff. Da, 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 da. What were you saying? I do walk out of my room to see if there's breakfast anywhere. Uh, there isn't. Your dad, like, seems exhausted. He's fallen asleep on the table. Who looks like this? Oh... Dad, you can go to bed. He's he's a, he's passed out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can I carry him? Do I not, can, am I strong enough for that? Due to the weight of his wings, no. Oh. You know that he mm. has three other wings hidden in, inside. Or sorry, not three. Yes, three others. Uh, three other wings, not sets. <laughs> What were you saying? I just place like a pillow under his head, okay. grab something that is breakfast worthy, and then just start heading out to the bus stop. <laughs> All right. Eat on my way there. Okay. Jasper, we'll get to you now. Yes. Jasper, you wake up in your bed. Your alarm goes off once. Good morning, well, good morning, sunshine. Hello. I didn't understand a word he just said. I let him keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a phone? Yes. All of you guys have phones. I check my phone. So if you want to add like a holding or anything like that, vitality, serious. Okay. Uh, your phone says it is 720. Hmm. It's just enough time. What time does school start? Like 8? I don't know. It starts at 740. Uh -huh. You all live really close to the school, oh. but the bus is fast. Oh my gosh. I better get me some food in my belly as I get up and walk towards the door. Alright. Uh, walking out, there's this... There's this grim feeling. Like something is going on around you, but you don't know what it is. Uh, that's... What in the world is going on? Hello? Anybody there? There's nobody there. Uh, in front of you, though, you see... This chick and this chick talking to each other. Uh, like, in my house? No, out uh, outside of the window. Sorry. Oh, that one's a weird looking one. <laughs> Jasper. <laughs> Your character's name is Jasper. <laughs> he did say yes. Get her. And then you can. Uh, okay. What'd you say? Don't worry about it, Morgan. You flip coins. None of your business. All right, Jasper, what do you want to do? Uh, I go to the to the cabinet to see if there's any bread. There's bread. I'm assuming you want to make a sandwich. I take a slice. No toast. 
You want to make toast? Okay. Uh, after making toast, well, it's like it's like seven thirty now. Uh, after making toast, it didn't take ten minutes, but uh, it just adding stuff to it. Well then, better go out the door. I can eat this on my way there. Uh, off in the distance, you can see the bus. As you see Ray starting to walk over to the other girl, or sorry, you see the, like, angel girl starting head. to walk over. Sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. You see the angel girl starting to walk over to this chick, and then um, the bus starts to pull up as you see her run back. What would you like to do? I dash out the door, locking it on my way out. All right, cool. Uh, it didn't seem like your parents were home. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a YouTube recommendation for psychological. Hold on. Okay, so you want to get into the bus? Yes. Uh, good. Give me one second, though. I need to send myself something. Cause I forgot to add it. Ah! Y'all chat amongst yourselves, I guess. Hokey doke. Nice. Alright, never mind. Don't talk. Don't start talking to each oh. other. I'm kidding. Go ahead, Jasper. What's up? Is this your first day? It's everybody's first day, Jasper. It's the first day of school. Yeah, I was asking, is this the first day of school? Yeah. Uh, so, when you guys get on the bus, one kid immediately catches all of your eyes. Something is not right about him. It's not that it's bad, it's just that something's different. Um. Hello. He looks shocked that you decided to, you know, say hi. As he just waves. Yeah, wave back. Good morning. Uh, you're kind of blocking everybody else from getting on the bus. <laughs> just standing oh, there talking to him. <laughs> oh, I thought I was sitting down. Alright, I'm gonna get over sitting. Uh, so where do you guys sit? He's sitting all the way at the front. I sit oh, in the seat across from him. I'm like three, three seat, two seats behind. Two seats behind. Bear back, I got mute. Jasper, where do you sit? <clears throat> First open seat on the Uh the first open seat you can find with like like a completely vacant seat, is that what you're looking for? There we go. This is better. Just some open seat. Uh okay. Um what do you mean open seat? Are you looking for something completely vacant? Or are you looking for a seat with one person in it? It doesn't matter. Let's just sit in a seat. Let me give you some let me give you a specific, okay. Jasper. Window seat. Huh? No, uh -uh. I'm back, I'm sorry. Window seat. Right row. Three down. Does this dude, bro? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna be sitting next to Morgan. Oh. What a coincidence. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So, what do you guys want to do? They ran I'm over a speed bump. Gets to the school. What's that? I'm just gonna quietly wait till the bus gets to the school. Uh, you notice this? Uh, there it is. Uh, you notice this kid kind of briefly take a long look at uh, all three of you, and then um, just kind of go back to looking out the window. 
It seems like he's intensely thinking. What would you guys like to do? Uh, I know you want to keep doing whatever the hell it is, Nicole. Just keep uh, quiet. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Morgan? Uh, kind of look out the window a few times, just browse on, on the phone, play, I don't know, uh, uh, what was it? Word right. trip. <laughs> Got it. Jasper? Just sit there, look out the window. <laughs> okay. Everyone likes looking out windows. As you guys, uh, eventually the bus stops, and the kid sitting across from Lucas... Uh, almost immediately gets up and starts walking out. I do the same so I can find my class as soon as possible. Okay. Yay, we're back! Yeah, I'm gonna walk through too. Okay. Jasper? Jasper? Jasper. 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 This bitch. Jasper. His name no longer feels like a name. Jasper. I'm not there yet. Jasper. 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 I'm glad this is a segment of our session. That. I'm glad this is a segment of our that. session. Yeah, no problem. We were calling your name like 17 times, Jasper. I know. I'm going to uh, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. No. I'm going to I'm going to fucking kill him. Was... Jasper, what do you do? Was... What's going on? Everybody got off the bus already. I'm going. All right. Uh, this kid is the first one off of the bus, uh, followed by Ray and then Morgan, uh, and then Morgan and then you, Jasper, since you were sitting next to Morgan. There were kids, but most of them are sitting in the back. Oof. As you guys notice this, uh, this is the first day, um, at this school. What school? You guys notice this massive building. You have an image for it? No, I don't have a fucking image. Why would I do it? It's massive building? a huge building, yes. Wow. Yeah, that's a high school. Ray, you ready to go in? You gotta go in the big building. You have so much energy. Got some breakfast. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, but okay. As he just kind of looks at you, uh, the kid just kind of looks at you and just scoffs a little bit and then continues walking. It didn't seem like a disrespectful scoff. You just kind of laughed. Hey, you gonna join us? Are you gonna join us, dude? Just gonna point over to that random dude and Jasper. As his head kind of whips over towards you. Excuse me? Do you want to join us over walk around the school? We gotta go get in line to oh, that's true. get requirements for our classes. You guys haven't been here before, have you? No. I've seen a lot about it online, so I could end up on time, but uh. I relied on Ray for the information. <laughs> uh, well, I guess if any of you guys are new, do any of you guys want to join the Blood Rush team? Uh, we just started yes, recently. Yes, yes, yes. We just started recently allowing girls, so. What's it about? Uh, Blood Rush is a really dangerous game. Uh, it's a super competitive sport. I'd have but to be on the field. Yeah, I'd have to be on the field to tell you. Oh. Yeah. 
Well, is there a thing where we can try see one day just to see what's about? Yeah, I'm hosting tryouts if you guys want to come on. Uh, he keeps the same monotone voice, but he seems super excited for Blood Rush. What about you, guy? Uh, Jasper, he's looking at you. What do you do when the... Uh, like I said, I'd have to explain it, um, during the field, so... Yeah. Uh, we'll see. What kind of classes do you guys plan on signing up for? So they have main classes where you go, uh for learning basic things like uh, ability thresholds, different types of abilities, how to scale up your abilities, how to understand the world, how to survive in it, etc. How to do certain maths to survive. It's stuff that we need. And then you have stuff that you sign up for. Extracurriculars like combat testing, um, field training, etc. I heard that they have a really good alchemy class. Yeah, yeah, but it's more focused on the chemistry side rather than um, the witchcraft side. What about you, Ginger Girl? Uh, yes, indeed. Um, I've been trying to focus on some more into the combat and thresholds and everything. I like to work past my limit, you know? Uh, yeah, I guess so. And you, mask bird guy? I don't know. Chemistry or something? Sure, they have chemistry. They can teach it to you um, if you ask for it, but that's not really an extracurricular. Just make up something, Jasper. Uh, I don't know, engineering. That wouldn't be bad. Well, we should probably go inside then. Do you think that they have the psychology classes yet? Uh, they do have psychology classes, but most, uh, it's mostly for mind abilities. Ooh. Well, I don't know what the heck I got, so gotta try a bit of everything, right? <laughs> they have classes for that if you decide to go into one. I think you're, uh, I think, I think your ability is just your pure energy. <laughs> Seriously, you just- I know you. You just woke up at 20, 20, 15 minutes ago. Did all of you guys wake up at 7.20? Bouncing up. Up, muting. You all woke up at 7.20? Well, actually, I woke up closer to 7.30, but yes. It's like we're all spiritually ill, huh? Nothing. I don't know. That's- pretty strange he kind of it seems it? like he takes a mental note I just, just call me a. a a like the letter or a yeah it's not my name I just prefer to be called it well at least it's not you shut the fuck up Jasper I'm kidding I'm kidding <laughs> I know, I'm kidding too. Hi. Bitch. Okay, I'm back. Anyways. <laughs> what happened? What did I miss? I was making fun of Jasper. That's fun. <laughs> oh, okay, Morgan. Ah, Jasper. Jasper, Jasper, Jasper. Uh, dab and dab and dab. <laughs> So, where are we going? To the line to sign up for classes. I swear, you have memory loss. So oh, she, just, she just ruffles out at the flowers bit. Oh yeah, that's where it is. And then she just starts walking. He starts, uh, the guy starts walking to, um, uh, into the building. As you guys see lines, uh, separated from like 30 teachers, it looks like. I start walking with Nyx. Jasper, what would you like to do? On the line for... Uh, they're not separated into any specific lines. It feels like... No, they're not separated into any specific lines for specific schools or anything. Or classes. Uh, they're just kind of separated to get kids flowing more. Okay, find the line. Alright. Yes, just go with the line that 
All of you, uh, all of you guys get assigned to the class um, X127. X? That's... How many floors do they have? <laughs> or halls. Well, I looked at the floor plans a bunch beforehand, so if you guys want to follow me... Okay. Okay. Uh, a uh, a starts walking um, in the same direction as you guys. What class did you get? I say looking at A. Uh, yeah. X one twenty seven. I always get that class. What is it? It's um just a class for people with special promise. Uh, he points to uh the door. Like, the door that you guys walk through. And there's, like, these little machines above them. And they seem to be switching and flipping colors. Uh, wow. You see those? Yeah. Those track the potential of your abilities. Mm. All of you guys have the same color. And, well, I just prefer to stick in the class, so. You know. What's, uh, what's, what do the colors mean? Uh, it's just how much potential or how little potential you have. They don't ever tell us how much we have until we graduate, because you don't you don't want to make any you don't want to make people egotistical. Mm. I have five million power and five kingdoms. It could mean that we have no potential or a lot of it. So yeah, no. Uh, so, as you guys reach the class, it is st it is time before school. Like school doesn't start just yet. Oh. Okay. Yes, Jasper. What's that? Assuming that Jasper didn't say anything important, I'm gonna keep moving on. <laughs> okay. What? You said something and then just didn't repeat yourself. I see how it is. Uh, as you guys all walk in the door and see this guy, he's just sitting at the desk. Oh, there we go. Lucinio. He does have all the tattoos. Good morning, sir. Oh. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Hey, why did you show them my class? Why did you show them yet? <laughs> he just sits down in the seat. And just casually Well, he didn't have to show us. I already knew where it was. <laughs> you guys got like 30 minutes. Why are you still, why are you here? I just wanted to say good morning and hello and I'm gonna continue to walk around. <laughs> I was just going I'm to sit here, bird. probably read. I'm an early bird. Got a job. You guys are all early. Hi, it's nice to meet all of you. Hey. He's not being sarcastic at all. He's just like mm -hmm. super tired. Hello. You can take the next 30-ish minutes to nap. It just says he doesn't nap. He doesn't sleep. I've never seen that man sleep before. So, what would all of you guys like to do? I'm just gonna go um, sit in a corner and um, go on my phone and read. Which corner? Uh, like the front corner of the classroom by a window. Okay. Everybody uh, is, uh, sorry, go ahead, Joe. Since there's 30 minutes left before class, I'm gonna use that time to kind of look around the whole school building. <laughs> You're not walking around the school in time. 
Not even like around the hall or to see other things? You can walk around the hall, sure, but... Yes! To go from one end of the school... To the other. To the no, other no. Would take about an hour and a half. Of yeah, just no, no, no. I just, just walking. What I can. Yeah, I just want to walk for where I can before I have to go to the class. At least. At least find out where the lunchroom is or the library. I don't know. Uh, they actually have three lunchrooms. Whoa. Lunchroom A, B, C. Yeah. Marvelous. Marvelous. So, okay. Yeah, Morgan, that's what you discovered. As by the time you, like, get back, um, the bell's already rung. Oh, okay. So that means she's late, or it's ringing as she gets in? It, ri it rings as she gets in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I made it on time. Nicole, what would you like to do for the next 20, 30 minutes? She's just gonna sit there and read on her phone. Okay, Jasper? Just watch YouTube, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, wait, watch, watch me TV. <laughs> me, me TV. I love that. Uh, okay. So yeah, no, that's it. All right. One more kid. The guy says. Just one more. As you see this guy, uh, he seems to be getting slowly more and more awake as he's just starting to sit up now okay all four of you guys got assigned to my class at the same time he says in disbelief yep. we're spiritually alive you're one minute <laughs> why <sighs> um Okay. Are you hoping this would be a planning period? No, I was hoping I could get a nap in. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was hoping you guys wouldn't show up. Just yet. Dang. Oh. Do you want us to walk outside and just give you another... <laughs> well, the bell already rang. We only have five minutes. More like four now. Well, four and 29, 28. That's because you sat around oh, reading a book for the past 20 minutes. Yeah, it's a good book. I didn't ask all that. I returned. But continue, go ahead. Oh, that's all. It's just a good book. I wasn't going to share more. You don't seem to care very much. <laughs> I told you to go ahead. <laughs> oh my goodness. A just says, yeah, when he's tired, he doesn't really sound like he cares. Also, it's kind of, I, I know it's kind of boring. It's just a book. <laughs> most people don't. <laughs> well, I can't I say care. most people don't like to read because I don't know. Don't worry, Ray. Don't worry about it. I'll read the book again. I'll, I'll read the book after school for you. You don't seem like the reader type. Who? You, Nix. Oh, uh. It shows yeah, your I, name I, and I, picture on my book. Yeah, I, li I like to read once in a while when I got the right free time, you know? What do you do? Other than school? Well. What do you have a job or something? Quit. Oh. Do you guys know why this uh, school has so many buildings? No. Because we have billion dollars. No, we have dorms. Oh. Oh. Huh. I do remember seeing that in the floor plans. Mm-hmm. You did not tell me this detail. <laughs> You're telling me Is this that... girl likes to read so much that she reads the floor plans. Duros. Well, yeah, I want to be on time. 
You don't know. You don't need to do all of that. It helps. No, I memorized it... the entire layout of the school. No, it doesn't help. It does. Ray? Ray? You're gonna tell me it was unnecessary to memorize the entire map of the city so I could get places faster? Are you serious? She she's yeah. a, she has a lot of free time. She she's very smart. Ray, very smart. you know what? Fine. That will be my lesson plan for the next mm, I don't know, month eventually. To teach you how useless it is to memorize these things. <laughs> <laughs> it's helpful to me. No, it isn't. It helps me do things on time, and I get to do more stuff with my time. You ever heard of a GPS? <laughs> Damn. You ever heard of using your brain instead? You know, GPS to follow a GPS, you gotta use your brain. Really, to do anything. Just because you read the floor plan doesn't make you smarter than everybody else. I just. I never said I was smarter than everybody else. Imagine using your brain instead of a GPS. I just don't know. Me, personally, I use a GPS to go through the air. What the fuck are I you talking about? Wings. I use a GPS to go through my house. Hey, uh, you know what? I'm taking her side. I'm taking Ray's side on this one. He kind of seems stupid. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> yeah, I'm taking Ray's side on this one. Man, I was... But I wouldn't use a floor plan for anything. What if you was building something, would you use a floor plan then? No, I build all my stuff by yeah. hand, but that's just me. Okay, so if you were hired to build a building and they gave you some blueprints. Okay, that's different. If I was building something for myself, I don't need a freaking floor plan or blueprints, dude. Ray, does this mean that you know all the emergency exits if something bad were to yeah. happen? Do you know where the nearest Perfect. fire alarm is? Fire exits, hidden exits, and that's- Hey, I have a question. I have a question. Yes. You have about four emergency exits right there, as he just points to the windows. <laughs> that's not a question. It's more of a statement. Personally, <laughs> personally especially for me, pretty much any anything that leads outside, it doesn't matter how high or low it is, is an exit to me. Yeah, you don't you say. Got wings. <laughs> also, Ray, I'm just gonna say it now before we get it out in the future. You are so punctual, it's insufferable. I don't like being late. Not just being late, but memorizing the floor plans to freaking uh, uh, just all of it. Being late is the worst possible thing that could ever happen to me. No, it isn't. I mean, you could die. I mean, like, you could get impaled and, and die. A just That's kind of stands up in this... Uh, Ace stands... Uh, Ace stands when Duro says, No, it isn't. And this weird, like, dark energy kind of just courses throughout the room. It's so intense, it makes all of you just shudder for a moment. <laughs> Mm, there's a ghost in here. I'm As, look over at A. Yeah, A is just looking at you in the eyes. What are you? All right, one second. I'm going to I'm going to pause the recording real quick. <laughs> yes. Excuse me. As uh he stands up and uh, just kind of looks at you. Uh, just kind of repeat over what you said. Uh, she, all she said was, What are you? I'm, I'm the, the worst, worst thing that could ever happen to you. Okay. As he turns into this when he's saying that, it stops, everything goes back to normal, and he just sits back down. Azuro's, uh, this dude just kind of smiles. Yeah, he's fucking scary. <laughs> That's cool. That's very interesting. Uh, yeah. Wait, why are you in here, Nyx? 
Huh? <laughs> Doesn't even look like you have abilities. Why are you in here? But you have ability potential. That's weird. Yeah. Ray, are you okay? Oh, I've seen Nyx do some pretty unbelievable stuff. Ray, are you okay? Um, yeah, Ray, are you okay? Yeah. I'm alright. What was that? Like, you just kind of freaked out for a second. Hope I'm gonna scared. jump out that window right there. <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna jump out the fire exit? <laughs> yeah. I'm worried to jump out the fire escape. Don't jump out the fire escape window. There's. Uh, never mind. Not even gonna tackle that one. <laughs> so, Jasper. What do you wanna do? Out of. Yeah, go ahead. What are you gonna do? You know, man, you really didn't you really didn't have to do that. I mean, no offense or anything, but that just feels like you're shut going off. <laughs> oh, did I scare you too? <laughs> yeah, I feel like you scared him more than you scared me and you weren't even talking to him. <laughs> Look, if it makes you feel any better, that was an aesthetic ability. I don't really have anything else. Yeah, aesthetic. It changes the way you look. I was wondering about how you were doing it and what that was. That's so cool. <clears throat> yeah, I just kind of made myself look like some weird black smog and gave myself the black hands voice. I don't know how I can do that, but... Wow. Oh, you guys have talent, man. Uh... Hey, Ray, due to all of your obsessive book reading, you know basically everything about the hands and stuff. Mm. Your absolutely Oops. insane amounts of book reading. Yeah, I'm glad you caught that. You know, I wasn't really... Scared. It was actually kind of. <laughs> I'm saying I'm saying this late because I had some real life people run up to me. Yeah, I was just oh, about to say you're it. saying that real late, Jasper. I do get the feeling it did scare you when you're just saying that. No. Well, hopefully, one of you guys will be honest. Okay. Ray, did it scare you? Oh, okay. Huh? I was gonna say, hopefully one person will be honest. Ray, did it scare you too? But you already answered that question. Yeah, no, it freaked me out. That was horrifying. Please don't do it again. It was very scary, but I'm very interested in about how, how crazy that is. <sighs> I don't know how I did it, like I said. I'd like to know, but you know. We gotta find out together one day, man. I need a note to know. <laughs> We need to figure out your ability first. I've been in this class for two years now, so. Oh. Yeah, that's true. I wonder what my ability is. You didn't choose Jasper? Maybe you can turn into a bird. No, I did not. Also, I get to choose. I get to choose the majority of your abilities. Okay, no, what? Eli, Wait, Jasper, go ahead. You can choose your ability, dude. Oh yeah. It's gonna be shit. I mean, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay, pal. I see how it is. What, what should if, I? Like all he could do is talk to birds. That was it. Just birds. Not even all animals. Just birds. That'd be a pretty useless ability. <laughs> What if someone's <clears throat> deathly afraid of that? Oh! I'm able to talk to animals. You are? Yeah. I mean, everybody's able to talk to animals, it's just, are, you, are they able to understand you? Yeah, and talk back. Wow! And you're not just crazy, you're certain? Never assume someone's crazy. They can talk to animals. They can talk. 
Uh, I'm just gonna be safe and assume that Nyx is crazy now. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crazy. No, no, I wouldn't put it past you, Nyx. Hey, I'm you not crazy. You tried convincing me for a good five minutes there was a unicorn hiding in your closet. That was when I was eight, okay? That was when I was eight. You know, maybe, or maybe there was a unicorn hiding in a closet and you're the crazy one. <gasps> Ray. Well, that would maybe, mean me, my mom, my dad, her dad are all crazy. Maybe your obsessive punctuality <laughs> makes you agree with your parents. <laughs> Maybe what? Maybe your obsessive maybe punctuality makes you agree with your parents. Maybe they're just pretending they don't see it, and maybe I just learned to forget about it as well. Who knows? <sighs> this is gonna be a fun year. You guys see- y'all see this guy. Nobody has asked me my name! This is Did great! Your name. <laughs> goodness! No, wait! Oh my gosh, you actually didn't! Oh no! That was not polite at all! I'm sorry! Hi, sir! What's oh your name? no, we can't- I can't have two punctual people in my class. Ray, get no. out! No, I'm kidding. I'm not. Sorry, <laughs> Nyx, get out! No, I'm not punctual! How dare you! What the hell? Who's here first? I was, I was here first. I would've asked <laughs> if you were punctual, you would've fucking what? I would've been asking your name and everything and doing what they're doing this whole time. But I did ask your I, name, I Mr. Rely, Man, Mr. Okay, 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 whatever. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, my name is I'm... Mr. Leon. Oh. Ooh. Uh, no, but I rely on Ray to tell me everything about all the information on the school, to be honest. Ray, you recognize the name Jasper. Leon. Uh, it's a historical name. Yes, Jasper. I'm gonna be AFK for like 30 minutes because we're going back to your father's house, so. 30 minutes? Uh, yeah, somewhere around there. Bye. Bye. Does he just pass out? Yeah. Uh, Jasper just kind of like disappears into a puff of black smoke. Oh, does that happen normally? Uh, <laughs> no. Oh. That was weird. That happened. Okay. Huh. So what are your, all of your guys' abilities? That almost completely caused me to skim over the fact that your name is very historically famous. <laughs> uh, 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 A just says, So, what are you guys' abilities? Oh my gosh, he's a historic one. He doesn't like talking about it. Yeah, no, the Leon family. It's very well known. He doesn't like talking oh. about it. Okay. I just did. Fine. Oh, Next, you tell us your punctual motherfucker. You just want to share your book knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gonna get the excuse to call you punctual anytime that I can. No, go for it. It doesn't bother me. It should. Okay. Fine. Here, I'll look up some synonyms then. <laughs> You're gonna look up some synonym synonyms for punctual. So yeah, actually just answering through his question stuff, what maybe what what? what? Hmm. You don't say Yes, I'm just having a brain fart. Bizarre, convoluted, elaborate, embellished, flamboyant, extravagant, exuberant. I mean, I gotta find. More like antonyms. I gotta, I gotta find some of these words to just, just, just insult you. I'm kidding. Because punctual is to do things on time, at the proper or agreed time. Flamboyant is very willy-nilly. Uh, Ray, I don't think you're, you're helping yourself right now. Um. <laughs> Mr. Leon, I hate this girl. <laughs> I already don't like her. I didn't do anything! Don't worry. I just thought it feels more like they're antonyms. Yeah, I literally heard you get your freaking bow tie and just adjust it while nodding your head back and forth. That fucking toad. That 
snazzy ass, smart ass tone of yours saying, actually, punctual is happening or doing something at the agreed or proper time. Second definition, grammar denoting or relating to an action that takes place at a certain particular, uh, at a particular point in time. Uh, he didn't read that off of anything. He literally just said it. <laughs> Ray, I think he called you a nerd in a very descriptive way. I didn't no, call- No, I think he just called me a snob. A little bit. A little bit of a snob. Don't worry, Ray, Ray. You're still my friend. You're still- you're, you're, I, I like you. You're my friend. Killjoy, if you will. And you want to be on the Blood Rush team? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see Mr. Leon just... The fuck? <laughs> just turn. <laughs> you want to be on the Blood Rush team? Yeah. You're going to need to get a little more ghetto, darling. What do you mean? I mean... Like... Full throttle, no fucks given. I feel like I'm already there. Really? Mm -hmm. Somebody throws a paper ball at your head. What's the proper course of action, ma'am? Catch it. It already hit your head. What do you do? Oh. Figure out who threw it. Oh my fucking god. And then throw it back. The rock in it. How are you simultaneously ghetto but snobby? Somebody insult your mama, what do you do? Fight him. That's my mama. You don't talk crap about my mama. Ew. <laughs> Did you just say punch him? What is it you said? I Ooh. said punch him. Why would you punch him? You're gonna mix words with violence? I mean, why not just insult them back, actually? Mr. Well, Leo. Obviously, don't actually punch them. Mr. Leon is just now quiet. It was uh, A and uh, all of you guys now. Nix, talk. You've been very quiet. I, I mean, uh, huh. Hmm. Well. I don't really know what, I, what to say, to be honest. Um, what's this class about? You talking to me? Mr. Uh, Leon says. Yes, sir. This class is about learning to be the strongest part of yourself. How to train yourself from the ground up. Whether you're lost in the desert or stuck at sea, it doesn't matter. Teach yourself how to survive. That's what this class is for. Okay. And you guys have okay. the potential to do it. So you tell me. What's this class for? I mean, what are we going to do in this class? Get better at surviving? Yeah, but how are you going to do that? Why don't you guys make my lesson plan? Miss Punctual. Hmm. You, make my lesson plan for tomorrow. What are we gonna Tomorrow? do? Sure, yeah. How are we gonna teach you and everybody else how to be the best versions of themselves? Why don't you teach us a lesson only you can teach us? I can't. That's not possible. Maybe not necessarily only you can teach us. One that you had to learn the hard way that you wish someone had taught you. 
Don't fuck with A. How about that? <laughs> Don't ask him to be scary, because he will. Who did that last time? Uh, I did. All right, that's the lesson. What's next? Come on, give us a good one. Don't just try to pass it on to me. I'm not. That's what you just did before. I was curious if you had any life lessons. Huh? Like genuine ones. I was curious if you had any life lessons, like genuine ones. Me telling you doesn't matter. So we have to experience it? You have to learn it yourselves. Teach yourselves, in a way. Hmm. I learned that in my time in war that there is no place in surviving alone. If you're alone long enough, your brain will create things for you. There is no surviving alone. Huh. As it starts to pick up and rain. Oops. What do you guys want to do on character? I'm gonna write down his words. I'm gonna write down what he said. Mm hmm. He's just looking at you. Ray. Yes. Do you have something you want to teach the class? Um, I want to teach the class. Sure. Well, something I had to learn was coordination and balance in a mixed-up world. Hmm. How'd you come to learn that? But that's, because, that's because of my ability. How'd you come to learn that? Much practice. Many years. And ballet, which was surprisingly helpful. So you're talking about literal balance? More like trusting your gut balance. When your equilibrium is off, which way to tilt your head to put it back? So you're not mixed up. Which is also helpful because there are more than enough creatures who mess with your equilibrium. So now you're going back to literal balance. Yes, I suppose. Literal balance. Why would that matter? Don't get me wrong, it's a good thing to have. Well, to have literal balance, you need to have metaphorical balance. Balance within your mind. If you can't keep yourself calm in a different situation, that's not true. Well, physical, never mind. I'll say this, uh, Mr. Leon says, you're smart. Smarter than most, but you have a lot to learn. I know. That's Arguably why I'm more than most. I do hate to pass the question on. I'm very curious. 
What lesson plan would you make? What lesson plan I would make? Yes. That you think would benefit everybody, including you. Not really stop to think about that, to be honest. I guess in a way of creative thinking, thinking outside the box, because you can hit a lot of dead ends a lot of time when you're in a tough situation, so getting creative is usually a good course of action to make it through. But I don't know how to exactly explain or tell how, as it's different for everyone. It doesn't matter how. It's just a lesson that you pick. That's it. And even then, I just wanted to see... See what I'm working with exactly. He seems a bit, like, detached in a way. The teacher? Yeah. What are you thinking about? Are you, are you okay? Yeah. You seem a little detached from what's going on. Just trying not to get attached. Uh, after this, I'm going to end the session. Just after this little bit. Um, Ray, he looks at you. He's just kind of maintaining this uh, eye contact. Mr. Leon, I mean. Hello. You seem to know a lot, Ray. Hmm? You seem to know a lot. What did you say? Maybe not a lot, but some. Really? I know I know a bit, but books can't teach you everything. Conceited. That's what I said. What do you mean? That's something that we're going to have to work on. Well, I'm going to go use the restroom, guys. So. Have fun by yourselves.